All right, Billy, where are we heading to? We're going to a handball tournament in New Jersey right now. Look, part of my take's been talking shit about how handball is super easy and like a bunch of former NFL quarterbacks who dominate it, Jay Cutler. So now we're gonna put that to the test. Let's see how actually hard handball is. Um, so we're gonna be playing with the Columbus Armada. Uh, and then there's another team called the Drunkards. So from what I understand, there's two teams. One of like serious handball players, and then another one that's just due to want to get drunk and play handball. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, hopefully we score some goals. Shouldn't be too hard. I think the hardest part's gonna be like picking up the dribble rule, like the two bounce. Um, hopefully they'll fill us in on the rules when we get there, and uh, we'll take it from there. You know, should be fun. Good Saturday morning activity. I feel like we're at a campground, Billy. Oh, look, I think this is our guys. Thank you. Yeah, back in. Arrived at um, the handball tournament. Turns out it is the biggest handball tournament in the Western Hemisphere. I actually didn't realize how big of a deal this was. <laughs> it turns, so uh, we're here. Um, like this is the largest handball tournament. Like you can tell that these guys take it really seriously. And uh, I sort of thought like, oh, you know, we're gonna play handball. Guys are drinking. Like it's like a fun thing. No, like we just met a former handball Olympian. And uh, this, they, they don't, this isn't a joke to them. <laughs> this, is, this is very serious. So, so we're playing with the Columbus Armada. We don't have any other teams. What jersey you want? I, whatever works. You're a large. Yeah, I'm a large. Uh, 44 sound good? 44 sounds great. 44 sounds 44 great. type of guy? Yeah, Kyle Jefferson. So I'm with, I'm playing with the Armada. Hey, a little more baseball there. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I could totally dominate in this. Like this, this does not look intimidating at all. Feels like middle school gym class. Yeah, yeah, like literally, like they're trying to teach me technique and I'm like, this is like simple. This is like, this is like second grade athleticism needed. Let's fucking work. Hey, bring it in everybody. You better break it down. Yeah. What's up, Chief? What's up, guys? All right, let's get one, all right? Fuck it! Boom! It's a champ. You yeah. stick him. Yeah. He's yeah. Spider yeah. Exactly. He's spider tack. I didn't know you could use spider tack. You're supposed to. That's, That's a, it's if you don't, you're nuts. You should, like, you should, should see a spider tack. Yeah, where where is this stick? Uh, let's it's get on you the some. Table, it's here. on the table. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to touch it until it's time. Like, oh, you're getting you're, I'm going to use so much stick him. So. You can only get it off with like baby oil and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here with JD, the goalie, captain, founder, and CEO of the Columbus Armada. JD, you know, Basically, the weight of the handball world and uh, how it's portrayed and uh, you know interpreted by the you know the bulk of you know the barstool audience, yeah, in America, it's all on your shoulders. So, um, how would you describe you know exactly how you got into handball, the positioning of handball you know in America right now, like you know who's playing it, like like how did you end up here? So we have a game to go play, right? Uh, yeah, you gotta learn how to play in about 10 minutes, so we, we gotta get rolling. Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna go learn how to play handball in 10 minutes and play in a game. So, that's... Hopefully we can squeeze it in. <laughs> that's letting the meat talk right there. That's, that's That'll work, except we're playing the wrong sport, so... We, we can use those hops. We need those hops for handball. Here. Yeah, what's the basics? Okay, so, throwing, alright? Yeah. Get your arm up. Follow through up top so you're not getting hit, you know, when you come through like this way, all right? 
and then make sure you flick your wrist at the end, okay, to get a little bit extra velocity with that stick on there, right? Okay, uh, he's just short arming it like he's quarterback in here, like little Pete Manning. So you gotta get your arm there, there, get it. There we go, get it in it up, up and high. We call this the piston. You go three steps forward, three steps back, catch at the apex, and there we go. Get way more juice. We're thinking about physics, yeah. right? Longer arm, longer extension. Here, you don't yeah. get that. You're T Rexing it over here. You want that Tim Tebow yeah. elongation nation. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Get, yeah, get yeah. back over it. There we go. So you can go one, one two, two, three, three go jump. Shot, bounce it, one, two, three, and then go through. Yeah, but you always want to jump off left. Get more jump off the left. Less, there's more torque. I didn't realize that like handball was like, so big in Germany. Massive, like there's 10 leagues, like no matter what small town you live in, they probably got a couple, maybe multiple handball clubs, everybody and their brother and their sister. I mean, everybody's playing handball. And you're saying that there's like some guys who are like playing the 1984 Olympics who are like still playing today? Yeah, we got 84 and 80 Olympics. They'll probably be out giving a, giving a world today. A lot of like national team players, even uh, maybe not Olympians, but other national team players are out playing for sure. So, so like, this is like a, so handball is like a major deal in like uh, Europe in general. So it's probably it's probably top five sport in most of Europe. So like with defense, right? Like is it just like is it just like basketball? Or no, like? no, no. You got hit him. So like if I'm holding the ball here, yeah. you're taking this arm. We call it the the hammer. So you're chopping down on this arm, and then you're bringing this other arm through. No, no you, you just tackle me. You got to you got to hit, hit me. Don't so take guys, me. Don't so take guys, me to the ground. So you, guys, you just you, you can't bring him to you the ground. You bring this arm down. You chop the wood, and then you fall through and, and finish so the wrap. Mm -hmm. Can you just like hit someone over the middle? Oh, like a, like a free safety guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'll get a red card probably for that. Like, uh, you know, anything where it's, uh, uh, what's the word I look for? Uh, defenseless receiver. Hey, come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey, it was a little late. Number 44. That's okay. Take two. Take two. Yeah. 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 After a very short time of practice, I entered my first handball game. Trying to make up for not knowing any intricacies of the game with defense and hustle, I found out how European handball really is. There was a lot of flopping. Um, turns out you have to be pretty aggressive on defense. Uh, sort of like, the thing is, I don't know any of these guys, so it's kind of like in basketball, like you just like, don't be a dick. Turns out you really have to be a dick when playing defense in handball. So playing a pretty good team over there. It's just kind of, you know, getting thrown into the flames. But I think we'll be fine. Any spider tech yet? Oh yeah, we you get to play with spider tech. Like you need stick them. So we're gonna we're gonna stick them up. up. Yeah. yeah. You can shoot low too if you want, Billy. Yeah. Like that. All right, let's go. They're old. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boom! Uh, Fire the cannons! Uh, boom! I've I put on too much stick on. I kind of got too excited with the idea that we can use stick on. Use too much.
How you feeling on the half? I, I've really given myself a bad reputation on it. In handball circles, for that. Is Billy going to be canceled in the handball league? The handball league not a fan of me. <laughs> Yeah, if I get one more penalty, I get kicked out of the game, so I'm, I'm just gonna stay out for a little. Oh. Oh. First game in the books. It's How are we hard. feeling about handball? It's hard. I like the guy. More difficult than you expected? It's just ball movement, offensive Everyone, movement. I got a text saying, defense. It's no football. It's no football. We're with three handball Olympians who are some of the only handball Olympians I've ever met and as the sport's more popular overseas we're just gonna you know run through how exactly you guys got involved in handball what the Olympics was like for you guys and you know how you see handball you know uh, progressing and expanding in the future. We so, took a bunch of guys like let's say Jay Cutler former NFL quarterback maybe a bunch of backup NFL quarterbacks do you think they could maybe do well in the Olympics? Uh, obviously they, they have great athletic talent but in order to really compete in, in team handball, you have to play as a team. You know, so the real key is you know, Jimmy and I got together in 1977, and, and seven of those people trained together for eight years, and we competed in 1984 games. If you could get people like a Jay Cutler to work together for seven or eight years, uh, one of the other things you'll find in handball is that you know, it's not the best team with athletes, but it's the best team that play together. You know, so Denmark, um, you know, Norway, in, in, or Sweden, you know, some of these, you know, Iceland, Iceland, um, you know, they're, they're all top ten because they play together. So that was the end of the day at the handball tournament. It was a great time. Met a bunch of Olympians and club players alike. Scored a couple goals and ended up with six penalty minutes and two red cards in one game. I'm going to definitely have to bring the guys back to the next one.